Are you ready? Can you state your name, please? Norman Taylor, 82nd. So Norman, why did you join the Pirate Troopers? Well, I've spent the last two years training at Fort Benning, so I asked myself that exact question. You know, I was on my way to becoming a priest. But I don't intend on giving that up. No. This is just a new path that God has chosen for me. See, I remember uh, sitting in the living room with my parents and my brother. We were listening to the radio when the uh, broadcast was interrupted by the news of the attacks at Pearl Harbor. Now, my father, who had never cursed a day in his life, let out a rather large expletive and said, Well, this is war. This is war. Now, I will never forget that. See, something changed in me. Now, I don't know exactly what, but at the time, things were just, uh, just different. And I looked over at my brother, and he was visibly shaken and scared and angry. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't angry, too. So the next day, he tells me he's going down to enlist. And I said, you're going to do no such thing. Well, not without me by your side. You see, I love my country. And I love my family. And I love my God. And after talking it over with the good Lord later that day, I swore an oath to protect all three. So, why the paratroopers, right? Well, shoot. Because if I knew what I know now, I would have just joined the 8th Infantry like my brother did, or hell, anything on the ground for that matter. You see, I'm about to jump from a plane, literally and directly, into enemy territory with nothing but a light machine gun in hopes that either A, I don't get shot out of the air, and B, that the, the wind doesn't knock me too far out of the drop zone. Pretty good odds, huh? Now, I do remember a poster on the wall at the recruit center. It said, join the 82nd and 101st Division, Airborne. That was the first of its kind. Guess I figured while my little brother's on the ground, I'll protect him from the sky. Are you scared? Well, you see, I made a deal with God that if he gets us home, I'm going to continue to tell the whole world about him. I will ask forgiveness of my sins. And whether it's life or death that comes to me, I, I know that I will have done my small part. And if I die on that beach, then I will stand before my Savior with my head held high, bathed in a love so pure, more than anything I've ever experienced. I will have died an honorable death. See, I can't be scared. I have too many people relying on me.